what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i am panhandle black 95 today we are working on the maxima and i ordered a part earlier this week and just came in this morning uh right now i'm headed back to the junkyard to go find pieces that i need for this part because when i ordered it I initially asked the guy if I could get all the clips and everything to come with the side panel with the rocker panel that goes on the maximum and like normal he just didn't I don't know whether or not he didn't type it in the computer to let him know that uh, I needed those parts but uh they didn't come with it so that's what I'm doing now I'm heading out to the junkyard to go check to see if I can find the parts that I need so it's been an eventful day so I actually had to go back to work today today was my first day back and you know I had my birthday that I took off for that was like almost half of the month and I enjoyed myself but it's back to business as usual. I got to get back into it and start vlogging a lot more. It's not like I didn't do anything while I was uh, not posting any videos, but I actually was. You know what I'm saying? I got some footage from some other stuff that I did. But uh, we're going to go ahead and shoot back over here to the junkyard to go see if I can find some parts that I need. So let's get it. Let's go ahead and get that done. Head back over here to the car so we can see what it looks like when we get it on. This is your first time tuning in. Go ahead and hit that like, comment, subscribe. Go ahead and hit those post notifications to all so you can catch all the videos that I got coming. Man, the uh, Maxima is looking pretty good. Even though uh, had a little mishap with some of the parts that I had already, but hey, that's what happens when you uh, have something already and then you go and purchase something and thinking that you can actually put that on that car. But hey, that's neither here nor there. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, go up here to this junkyard. So stick with me. Get back with you in just a minute. Let's get it. The same visions be the day and all night. I wake up on my grind. Gotta get my money right. All right, guys, so we made it to the junkyard. We're out here. I'll go check this car out to see if it's got everything we need so let's get it it's a lot of cars out here if you need anything this is Kikers auto salvage got just about everything you can think of out here And this is a U pull it yard. So, whatever you want, you got to find it on one of these vehicles and pull it yourself. And I think most of these are Buicks, Chevys, and everything else over here in this area. And then we go to the Fords and your other cars. See some Fords, Nissans, see some Infinities, some everything out here. So, and a lot of times you can't find parts, but if you go to these U pull it yards, you can find just about anything you're looking for. And a lot of them have, most of them have all the motors are taken out of all of them there in stock inside. So if you need a motor on anything, transmission, 
lot of that stuff's gonna be on the inside as soon as you come in. But it's a few cars out here. And I only saw, since I've been coming out here, I only saw a, like a few that I could use. And the most, the most of them are on this end down here. See this one? nothing off of that one so here's one the motor's probably bad it's in it that's why it's still out here on this one hopefully the car that i saw the parts that i need are still on the car because normally just like I have the same idea, other people have the same idea as well. And by the time you leave something and come back, everything's gone off that car. Looks like it's still intact, so I'm gonna grab these parts off this car. And I'm gonna tap back in with you guys in a minute. I just need the pieces that go up under here. If they're still there. Yeah. Feels like they're still up under there. So I'm gonna tap back in with you guys in just a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and get these parts off that I need. And we're gonna head back to where the car is. Let's get it. All right, guys. So we got the parts that I needed. They were still here. I got them off of this Altima. Didn't take the whole rocker panel down. Just took the parts that I needed off of it. So we're going to head out of here. Go back up front. Get out of here and go ahead to the car. Amazed at some of the cars that you see out here and think, what? How is that even in here? But some of these cars, a lot of them, I'd look at if there's no damage to them. That means there was something wrong with the motor transmission, something to the extreme. But the ones that, if I were to come out here and get parts off of a car, it'd be one that was that's wrecked. Because the ones that are wrecked, you know, they were moving before they were wrecked so if there's nothing wrong with that vehicle yeah nine times out of ten that it's a motor transmission some to that extreme is the reason why it's in here but uh yeah you can always come out here and find a whole bunch of stuff anything you need oh man it's kind of hot out here even though it's getting closer to the fall. Well, it is fall. Yeah, it's fall now. So, we're heading up out of here now. It's hot, man. But this is Florida. So, you're going to get that mixture of weather. Whether it be cold, hot, no matter what time of the year. So... Go ahead and head back up out of here. It's all types of cars out here. These are more so your older cars. Nothing, nothing brand new. That's not what this lot is. But you'll find a lot of hidden gems out here, especially if you're working on a car and you need some parts. You're gonna find a lot of what you need out here in the junkyard. So, let's get up out of here man glad it didn't take that long it only took a few minutes to come out here and get what I actually needed so, 
trying to get around this corner. Look at all this sand, man. That, that's crazy. Ain't nothing coming through here but fort lifts in this sand. There go your fort lifts over there that they use to take all the cars and place them on these rims. Fort lifts over there. Came out here before. I thought I was going to be able to use some of these parts for the Impala, but this is an older one. It didn't have what I needed. So. I may come back out and get that door handle. Uh, let's go ahead and get up out of here. You need to go and cash out. Got parts for my car and for my daughter's. She has the Altima I have now. And this is where all your motors and transmissions are. This is where I am. Kikers. Auto parts and you pull it. So let me go up here and cash out. I'm gonna tap back in with you guys in a minute. Alright guys, so we've made it back out to the maxima. Um, let's go ahead and get this part unwrapped. And just like I thought. None of the clips that I needed for this that I asked for are on here. So, let's go ahead and get this off. So, let's go ahead and start the engine off. Yep, none of the clips. None of the clips are on here I asked for all of them but hey none of them were put in so let's go ahead and get this rocker panel put on here I'm going to tap back in with you guys in a minute let's get it So I got the rocker panel on now. It looks a lot more complete than it did before. Man, it's a difference in what it makes. Just one piece. So here we go. Just brings it out even more. And this one came with an extra little piece on it. This piece right here. Because I don't have that on the other side and and like anything, I got to do some, get some body work done because this line is, this fender is bulging out. So probably going to have to go up some. I'm not pretty sure. It looks like it might need to go up a little bit because if it goes back, it'll just, it won't be able to open that passenger door. But that little piece there makes it a whole lot different, man. It makes it all better than what it did look like still a complete car and see as you can see on this side this piece that piece that i have on the other side is not on this one so i'm either gonna have to go find it or just take that other piece off but other than that man this car is coming together with the exception of the front hood right there where you can see it's buff it's not even all the way on but it's there and like I say you probably have to probably have to get this fender pulled out to get it back right but right now man it's still drivable get in and go at any time the crank right up no problem just doing a lot of cosmetic to it right now, so. 
Well, I'm, I am satisfied. I'm satisfied with what I got right now. Even though uh, it could be a little different. It's not the exact color that I want. And like I say, I still got to get it painted. So that's next step. Get this body work and the paint done. Once I finish that, I'll start. It's on, man. I got the I got some more headlights so these headlights are not gonna be the ones I'm gonna use I'm gonna take these headlights out got another grill but all in all man like I say this car is coming together the more I touch it the more things happen so I am pretty much satisfied with what I got now it's a nice car even after the wash the wash is what really did it because before I washed it man this car was just filthy and it didn't look nothing like this but uh yeah so that's gonna be concluding for this video I'm not going to hold you guys too long. And if this is your first time tuning in, go ahead and hit that like, comment, subscribe. Hit those post notifications to all. Because if you don't hit the post notifications to all, your subscribe doesn't count. So look out for me. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit those post notifications to all so you can catch all the videos that I got coming. Yeah, it's coming together a whole lot, man. So stick with me. Until next time, I'm out. Let's get it.